Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well and welcome back. In this video, we will be starting translation as you can see. Now, out of the four transformations that we're gonna do, that is reflection, rotation, you know, translation and enlargement, perhaps translation is the easiest thing there is because there is not a lot of much, uh, there, there's, there's not much going on when you're translating an object. There's just one thing that you need to know and that is the translation matrix or you can call it the translation vector. So what exactly is translation? Let's first look into that. So when we're translating an object, what we're doing is we're basically moving or you could say sliding an object without rotating or flipping it. That is without reflecting it. So without rotating or reflecting it. Now it's defined by just one thing and that is the translation matrix. Now, what exactly is the translation matrix? You can call it the translation matrix or you could also call it the translation vector, okay? So what exactly is the translation vector? Well, this is the vector that decides how much the object is going to move, okay? Or how much the object is going to slide around, okay? So for example, if you have an object over here, let's say, let's say that we have a triangle over here Yeah, there you go. And let me just copy it and paste it here. So this is the object, but let's say I wanna translate it. So like I said, translating it, moving it, uh, means moving it horizontally and vertically. So how many units we move horizontally or vertically? Well, that is defined by the translation matrix. So let's understand what that is and let's understand how we determine that. So let's take a point. Let's take this 90 degree point over here. Let's call this P and let's call this P prime. Okay, P for object, P for prime showing us, uh, denoting the image basically. So we can clearly see that this point has basically moved a certain number of units towards the right, horizontally that is, and a certain number of units upwards, vertically that is. So this right here, this movement, the horizontal movement is basically determined by the X component of the translation vector, okay, which I'll show you how, what that looks like. And this right here is basically, the vertical movement is basically determined by the y component of the vector, okay? So what exactly does the vector look like? The vector which is represented by the letter T looks like this, x, y. Now x right here basically decides how much the object is going to move horizontally, okay? Now it's, all, it's not always going to be towards the right in case that's what you're thinking. Well, that is decided by the sign. So if it's positive, that means it's gonna move certain number of units towards the right. And if it's negative, that means it's gonna move certain number of units towards the left. And just like that, same applies to Y also. If the Y value is positive, that means it's gonna move upwards. If it's negative, that means it's gonna move downwards. Now, the one formula that you should remember for translation is the following. I equals to O plus T. Now, I basically stands for the image, what you get after translating it. O here is basically representing the object, okay, whatever object it is that you're translating, and T is basically representing the translation vector. There you go. Okay, now, since this is very simple, in just one video, we're gonna, we've learned the concept, okay? If you've understood this, if you've understood what I've done, that's great. If you haven't, we're gonna do examples in this video only so that this is clear to you guys. So I have a couple of examples over here, and these are actually positive questions because, and I've just singled out the transformation part so that we do just that and not, uh, not the questions where we have to do something other than uh, translation. So this, by the way, is a question from October, November, 2017, paper two, variant two. It says triangle A is mapped onto triangle B by a translation of seven comma minus five. Now it's always a good idea to first look at the image and sort of visualize what the object is. Sorry, look at the object and sort of visualize what the image is going to be like. So seven comma minus five means that this triangle is going to remain the same, okay? Except that it's going to move seven units towards the right and it's going to move five units downwards, okay? So the best thing you gotta do is you just gotta pick one point and translate that first because everything else will just uh, keep the dimensions in mind and just draw it there and then. Okay, let me show you what I mean. So for example, instead of doing every single point, I'll just take this point and you don't necessarily have to take this one. Like I said, you can take any point that you want. And this point has coordinates minus three comma one. So minus three comma one. 
Now in this, I'm going to add the translation matrix because if you remember the formula is I equals to O plus T. So I'm gonna add the translation vector or matrix and that is seven comma minus five. Now when we do that, let's see what happens. So minus three plus seven is four and minus one plus minus five is minus four. Let me double check that. Minus three plus seven is four. Minus one plus minus five is minus four. Okay, so four comma minus four. And you can also count if you want, okay? If you don't want to be too formal about it, you can also count. Let me show you what I mean by that. So here's the point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just make sure you don't lose count. And then five units downward. So one, two, three, four, and five. So this is where we are, four and minus four, okay? Now, like I said, you don't have to do this for every single point, although you can if you want to, but that'll just be a waste of time. We know that the base is one unit, so we'll just draw uh, one unit, a line of length one unit. We can see that the height is three units, so that's one, two, three, and there you go. All you gotta do now is just join to make the third length. And what do we what do we have to call this? We have to call this B, and let's call it B, and that gets you two marks, okay? So not the easiest two marks, but also not very hard. In fact, not difficult at all, to be honest. Okay, let's do more examples. So here's another question in which, uh, let's see what you have to do. By the way, this is from May, June, 2012, paper one, variant two. So it says, write down the vector that represents the translation that maps triangle A onto B. Okay, so here it's like finding the center of rotation. It's like finding the line of reflection. Here also you have to determine what is the translation vector that takes A to B. Okay, so you can do that very easily. Look at this point right here. This point has coordinates two comma one. Now let's first do it the formal way and then I'll show you the casual way if that's what you wanna call it. So O has basically coordinates two, one, okay? The corresponding image, which is right here, has coordinates four comma minus three. Okay, and what is the translation matrix? Well, we don't know that, so let's just call that X, Y. We know very well that the formula is I equals to O plus T. So I has coordinates four comma minus three, O has coordinates two comma one. Translation matrix, we don't know. Okay, so if you make T the subject, so that's gonna be four minus three minus two comma one. Okay, and remember not to change the sign of the elements of the vector, okay, but just the sign in between, okay? So this becomes, let's see, what does this become? This becomes four minus two is two, and minus three minus one becomes minus four. So that means the translation matrix that we're the question's talking about is basically two comma minus four. Now let's see what's like the casual way of doing this, okay? Or the not so formal way of doing it. So take this point and see what needs to be done to take this from here to here. So let's first move horizontally. So that's one, two, two units to the right. And now let's move vertically. So one, two, three, four. And since we move, since we moved rightwards, so that's positive two which you can see that's what we got. And since we moved four units downwards, that means minus four. And there you go. There you have it. Translation vector is two comma minus four. Like I said, pretty easy. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Again, you get a sneak peek as to what is to come next. It's enlargement. And again, not too difficult, but not as easy as translation. So yeah, that's it for this video. And that's also it for translation. I hope you've understood the concept. I will try and do more questions when we're doing full length positive questions of transformation. So yeah, let me know if this is clear to you guys in the comment section. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe so that you stay updated regarding all the videos that I will be posting next. So that's it. See you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.